alerting, always tracking. This is Next Weather. We still had some stormy pockets over spots of South yeah. Florida, but the rain certainly cooled us down cooled a bit down. today. Today was brutal, 98 yeah. degrees. We had 116, it feels like temperature down in the Key West. It was the warmest day of the year, and that broke the old record of 97. We are uh, getting now into a month where it's likely going to be another one uh, for the record books here. That was today. We are still looking at some outflow boundaries that have generated additional showers. Thankfully, that 98, well, we went from 98 to 76 in just a couple of hours, so a huge drop in temperature courtesy of the rainfall. That, as uh, Lauren pointed out, still continues here but uh, continues to weaken as well. So it's not like we're looking at uh, anything severe, but a couple of lightning strikes have been showing up. Davey seeing a, a nice little shower there. This little pocket of heavy rainfall moved in just off the Atlantic over the last 15 minutes. Hollywood Beverly Beach are getting in on it, and that will continue pushing the south and uh, west. Miramar seeing diminishing intensity as far as this particular shower. It was raining pretty hard uh, just in the last 15 minutes, and that has uh, lowered now. As we check out next weather rain track, you'll be able to see the trend here. Everything continues continues to wind down as we head through uh, tonight. Tomorrow we're back into the heat, but we're also going to get some help with some showers and thunderstorms and then heading into uh, the weekend. It still looks good with dry air beginning to push in, but how far and how further down it penetrates. That's a question now because some of the models are hinting at a little bit more moisture than we've been talking about. The keys certainly stay in that pocket of wet weather and then for Sunday that boundary kind of uh, hangs out with us here and so the moisture begins to lift back up. So a few showers and storms certainly still in the uh, cards here. 30% coverage. I think would about do it for both days. If we have additional signs that that front isn't going to, you know, do a clean pass, uh, we'll have to bump up rain chances, but nothing that'll ruin the weekend. I don't think here Friday morning, some showers already getting going along the breeze there, and we'll just continue to expand that throughout the afternoon. We'll add the uh, thunderstorm activity, so rain chances still pretty high for uh, tomorrow. Here's our Nesto Category 2 hurricane, 968 millibars. That is down. The pressure goes down. Now the winds come up, and so now we have a 100 mile an hour hurricane here. And here's the latest track heading into a Bermuda. This is one of the computer models, anyway. This is the worst case scenario. Watch what happens here. The northern eye wall begins to push in. So they'll get into 90, 100 mile an hour winds. And then if this materializes, they're going to be on the southern end of the eye wall. So they get a break and then they're right back into it here. That is an all day event for Saturday. So they are bracing for that. And uh, we um, are going to continue to follow that. So that is, uh, of course, Ernesto. Not much else in the Caribbean or the uh, rest of the uh, tropical Atlantic. We're looking pretty quiet for the next uh, seven days. It's all about Ernesto heading to Bermuda. Rain chances 40 to 60 percent through tomorrow afternoon. So get ready to get wet once again. That'll cool us off, certainly. And then for the weekend, the rain chances, yeah, coming down to 30% both weekend days with highs in the low 90s.